Hello, I'm so excited welcoming you to the second half of the year. Today is July 1st, 2023. Just go ahead and just say thank you, Jesus, for keeping you alive, for keeping you strong, for keeping you healthy, and for allowing you to see the second half of the year. And I'm so excited bringing this prophetic word to you today. The topic of today says, your season of remembrance is now. Your season of remembrance is now. So God is about to do something spectacular in your life. Praise the Lord. My name is Franklin Wilson and this is Encounters with the Power Seed on your favorite station, the Life Center Network. And our key text today is from Genesis chapter 8, verse 1. I'm reading the Holman Christian Standard Bible. It says, God remembered Noah. Put your name there. Say, God remembered. Put your name, Franklin. As well as the wildlife and all the livestock that were with him in the ark, God caused a wind to pass over the earth and the water began to subside. And God remembered Noah. And that will be your story in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, background and the thoughts on this text. Now, see, the story of Noah sounds exciting. It sounds so exciting until you get down to the details of his experience. You see, chosen by God to save a few remnants from imminent destruction, he spent over one year in an ark with his family and many animals. Now just think about it. Staying in one place at float on water without knowing when it will end. That can be very, very tiring. See, that's a long time in a cramped space with, with lots of animals. It was no luxury cruise. That's the fact. It was no luxury cruise. Think about it for a moment. Just think about it for a moment. It was no luxury cruise at all. You see, the ark was not equipped with a swimming pool. Remember that. There were no movies, no entertainers, or even any fancy buffet. But the truth is, there was nothing to do but to stay in the boat while it floated aimlessly on the surface of the ocean. Noah was just there. There was nothing to do. Why the ark was just floating aimlessly. You see, the Bible does not record anything about Noah's emotion during the long time he spent in the ark. In our days, we would say his mental health was probably affected. We know that he was a man of faith who took God by his word. You see that in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. But also remember, even though he was a man of faith, he was human too. He was a human being too. Understand that he was also a human being. You see, the sea was a lonely place. Hence, it wouldn't have been out of place for him to think that God has forgotten him. Have you ever felt abandoned by God? You see, have you ever wondered if God has forgotten you? Have you ever felt as if your prayers are not being heard? Have you ever found yourself in that kind of situation before? Maybe before now, between January and June, maybe you had some expectations, you had some things that you've been praying for, and it looks as if no answers. And when you look left, right, center, you hear people testifying. Even when you are in church, maybe you fasted for that program. You did something, you even sowed seed. But then you, you will watch a first time and come out to testify and you're wondering, has God forgotten me? When will God remember me? You see, if that is your case, that means Genesis chapter 8 verse 1 is for you. Say amen. Hear me. God remembered Noah. This doesn't mean that God had forgotten him. And it does not also mean that God has forgotten you. It simply means that amidst the great flood, God stayed through to his promises. So amidst the challenges you are going through now, I want you to know that God will stay through to his promises. Now, looking at your life, you see, God stays true to his promises. Like Noah stayed hopeful. God stayed true, even as Noah stayed what? Hopeful. So stay hopeful. 
Keep believing in the promises of God. Build consistency with your altar. Reinforce your, your, your verb and passion for service in the house of God. Reinforce it. Don't give up. I don't want you giving up right now. I don't want you throwing in the towel right now. This is the time to remain hopeful. This is the time to increase your passion, to increase your service, to reinforce the things you are doing for the Lord. You see, why? Because your moment of turnaround won't be long. Your season of remembrance has come in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to give up. Hear me. God has remembered you. This is a time to hold on more. This is a time to stay through. This is a time to talk more, to confess your faith more, to serve more, to give more, to do more. Just like our Father and the Lord, Pastor George Nwa said. Consistency. And that's where the power is. Doing the right thing. When it is working. When it is not working. Until it begins to work. And hear me, it's about to work for you. This is that time. It's about to work for you. Let's pray. Say, oh God, thank you for remembering me today. I walk into testimonies and greater victories today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree I have been remembered by God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, I would like you to go ahead now and read the story of Noah. I believe it will strengthen you. I believe it will encourage you because I hear you share your testimony. Don't forget, this is still Encounters with the Power C on your favorite station, the Life Center Network, your gateway to possibilities. Until we come your way tomorrow again on the same station, I want you to keep living in this atmosphere filled with the encounters of God. There are men that rise by level. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man helped by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. To encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yes, I'm a parent. Is it Chimo? Oh, yes, I'm a Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails. 